Hey guys, Callie Storm doll here, and I'm here to review the Amanda Lepore doll. This is by Jason Wu. Now, before we get into the doll, let's get into this packaging. Now, the story of how I got her is so interesting because this guy, who shall remain nameless, was moving away. And he said, you know, I know that you like dolls and things like that. Would you like her? And I said, I've never heard of this doll. So I looked her up and she is um, a real person. She's like a celebrity. And this is that gold piece that was around there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can see any of this, honestly, because the lighting is so bad. But this is the holographic cover. And it's basically her nude on the cover. And this is the holographic side. And this is the back. If you guys can see those photos. Let me see. That may help. Just a little bit. And then the inside. If you open from down here. Uh, this is where the doll would be. And it's like um, silver and gold. And that's pretty cool. Oh, and it smells so good. I don't know if I told you guys, but she comes scented. When I opened up her box, I just smelt it again. That's sick. That's really sick. That it actually has stayed. That scent is still there. That is sickening. That is sickening to me. I, I did not think that when I was doing this review and I opened up her box, a part of me was curious. But I did not think that, um, I did not think that her scent would still be on there. Alright, so now we can move on to the doll. And this is her face close up. As you guys can see. So you can see that she does have painted on features. And um, I really like this doll. I love her exaggerated features. Like the really tiny nose and the big lips. Like clearly it's plastic surgery. Um, and like she has on so much makeup. Her face doesn't match her body. Like it was all like a pun nothing with on it within itself. Um, this is a wig. And I think it's magnetized. So let's see. Oh no, it's not magnetized. But if you was to take it off, she would just be blonde with a little bun in the back. So it's not magnetized. I always thought it was magnetized. It's not magnetized. It's like hooked onto the top. And you can see she's blonde and she has like um, some white streaks in there too and some yellows. And it's curled at the bottom. She has ears but no earrings. And her shirt says David Barton Jim. She is anatomically correct, if you guys couldn't see. She also came with these gloves on. She comes with a stand. I don't know if you guys saw that in a box. She does come with a stand. She also has a corseted waist. And this is real leather starting to peel. It's so real. I haven't kept her in the best of conditions because as you guys know, if you follow me, I do actually play with my dolls. You know, they don't just sit on the shelf. I love to make short films and um, things like that. So she has these white pants at the bottom. And as far as, yes, these are two separate pieces. So this shirt is not attached to these pants. They are a separate piece. And then you go down to her boots. Yes. She's wearing these real leather. Because it's starting to actually change colors at the top. Boots. And doll form. Yeah, I can tell that it's um, real. Because um, I, I keep her in with the other dolls. Um, well, I can't get it all the way down. Because it's been on for so long. But um, you can see the pants actually stop right there. And I kind of wanted to show you guys what her feet look like because her her nails are actually polished 
I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that though. But the nails are actually polished. And Jason Wu worked with Integrity Toys. So I'm not sure. By the time I put this video up, I don't know for sure. But I'm not sure if Integrity Toys um, actually published this doll or not. Okay. Oh my god, yes. This is my first time taking her shoes off for this review. And as you can see, her toes are painted. This is so pretty. I like how they sculpted her feet and everything like that. And look, now you guys can see inside. Like, the inside is starting to yellow and then around the top and then like that because it's real. And and I play with them. So, you know, it has that play value. Um, I'm going to try to feature her in something soon so you guys can see more of um, my different dolls and things like that. And as far as articulation goes, her head can move all over the place because it's just on a string like this. So the head is like on a string, just like that. And as far as um, as far as her, and like no matter if you push it down or anything, it's still going to be like that. She can move at the shoulders. Like that, she can actually you can actually turn it out like that, just like she's like a puppet or something. You can turn it in and out, but she doesn't have any other articulation. Um, she can kick like this with her leg, and then there's no other articulation all the way down. Um, and no, she doesn't have anything in her midsection. Now, this Amanda Lepore doll is um, very nice, and it's also very heavy. She is a very heavy doll. Um, I don't know what it is that weighs her, weighs her down, but it must be whatever material they decided to make her out of. Because every time I like pick her up, and sit, like she's heavy. Like even you can see the way her limbs are moving. Like she's she they're heavy. These legs are heavy. If I whack someone with her, like the doll. They will be hers, you know. She she does pack a punch. So this is my Amanda LaPur doll. I just wanted to show you guys her. Trying to show you guys more of my collection and things like that. No, she is not new to my collection. She's one of the original divas. But I just wanted to, you know, show you guys another part of my collection. And I think she is um, quite interesting. She has a very surgical look to herself but i think it's i think it's interesting you know i think it's interesting but i want to thank you guys for watching um leave me a comment below subscribe if you're new like the video and we will see you next time we're gonna go to the gym bye guys